see both are very important classes of uh, oral anti diabetic agents and uh, if you look at the mechanisms that contribute to development of hyperglycemia or increased blood glucose levels the the mechanisms that are targeted by these two molecules are actually you know the different mechanisms so they are they have a complementary action and they provide a good synergy as well as as far as the treatment of uh, type 2 diabetes is concerned so both these drugs they help in controlling glycemia at the same time they reduce the risk of complications and that is why they provide a very good synergy and they can be evergreen combination for, for treating people with type 2 diabetes for indians especially who are considered thin fat uh, people as far as cardiovascular risk category goes these drugs in combination will offer probably maximum cardiovascular benefit to diabetic patients because it's not only the intensive glycemic control that is important it is very important to show that you have improved cardiovascular outcome in our diabetic patients dapagliflozin is uh, uh, the best supported by the evidence both in patients with uh, diabetes and even in non diabetic chronic kidney disease dapagliflozin has evidence so uh, and in diabetes so there is no uh, uh, doubt so linagliptin can offer uh, the uh, best of the uh, so best of the two worlds one is the glycemic control and organ protection so uh, this would definitely make a case for uh, this combination to be used